Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to work out the acute angle between two planes. Okay, so let me title this acute angle between two planes. So let's underline this. So in this case, if we're given, so given two planes with equations. So if the equation of the first plane is R dot N1 is equal to capital P1. And if the equation of the second plane is R dot N2 is equal to capital P2, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to work out the angle between the two planes, okay? So let me do my best to draw a diagram just to help us visualize this. So here goes. So here is one plane, okay? And if I have another plane like so okay so I'm going to show you how to work out the angle between the two planes okay so and the angle between the two planes uh, is the same as the angle uh, between the two normal vectors okay so in this case if we have a normal vector, so remember a normal vector is a vector perpendicular to the plane. So if this is N1, the normal vector of this plane here, and uh, if I have another normal vector for the second plane, so if this is N2, the normal vector of the second plane, okay? So this is what um, I'm going to give you uh, as a result. So I'm going to give you a result that will help you to work out this angle theta. So the angle between the two planes is the same uh, as the angle between the two normals, okay? So in order to work out the acute angle theta, okay? So the acute angle theta between two planes, the formula is cos theta, so it's cos theta, that's equal to the absolute of n1 dot n2 divided by the modulus of n1 times the modulus of n2. Okay? So that is the formula, that is the result to work out the acute angle between two planes. So let me take a red pen and highlight that, okay? So as you can see from the formula, this formula only depends on N1 and N2. So it only depends on the normal vectors uh, of the planes, okay? So it's independent of the scalars. So it's only dependent on the normal vector, the normal vectors of the planes highlighted in green. Okay. And remember, there was a result in a previous video that is related to the scalar product. Remember the result that if you take the scalar product of two vectors, and if the outcome is zero, your two vectors are perpendicular. Okay. So. Likewise over here, if you take the scalar product of the normal vectors n1 and n2, so supposing you work out n1 dot n2, the scalar product of the normal vectors, and if the outcome is zero, that means that your planes are perpendicular to one another. So that means that the planes are perpendicular. Whoops, so perpendicular, okay?
So, that is the result to work out the acute angle theta between two planes. And that ends this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to apply this result in order to work out the acute angle between uh, two planes. So, I hope to see you then. Thank you.